our second half. We will start with the Padam. For the benefit of those who are not familiar with it, a Padam is an expressional piece where the focus is on the mind. As you have seen, this is a very unique aspect of Indian classical dance where a dancer uses a variety of hand gestures, facial expressions and body postures to relate themes from Hindu mythology. The piece that Nandini has selected is a Meera Bhajan. I think most of you know about Meera Bhai, who is a devotee of Lord Krishna. And it is in Hindi, so most of you will follow the lyrics also. Nandini will demonstrate the story before she performs this bhajan. <clears throat> Lord, please don't turn away from me. You are mine. Who else is there for me to be with? You are the sheltering tree. I am the bird perched on your branch. You are the majestic mountain. I am the rolling stream. You are the shining pearl. I am the thread running through it. O oh Lord, I am your devotee always. Please don't turn away from me. Jo tum todo piya, main nahi todo.
vibrant rhythm and emotional intensity. This dance that Paroma has selected is in portraying the arrogant queen of Lord Krishna. She who struts about like a proud peacock and yet her love for Krishna is in as intense as the oceans. It deals with the Parijata episode in which Krishna gave his wife Rukmini a flower from the Parijata tree. Satyabhama was jealous. So Krishna brought a, the entire tree and planted it in Satyabhama's yard. Of course, the flowers were still falling in Rukmini's yard. Didn't matter. Satyabhama was glad that she got the entire Parijata tree. So you may follow the rest of the story. Paroma will demonstrate it before she performs Bhama Kalapa. I am Satya Bhama, the most beautiful amongst 16 when the king and the queen were united, I was born. I am Lord Krishna's most beloved wife. From the Lord, I cannot be separated. This separation is unbearable. For his other wife, Krishna got just one little flower for me with the magic of his hands and the snap of his fingers he planted the entire parijata tree in my courtyard because i am satyabhama <laughs> Thank you. 
from Singapore. When I met Porma, I was about seven, and I'd say meeting Porma was probably one of the most exciting moments of my life, because up to that point, all of the boys in the Indian circle used to tease me and thought I had cooties. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, aside from being girls, Porma and I became very fast friends. We would jam out to Avril Lavigne in her room. Admittedly, we didn't have the best music taste. And we would play make-believe games and pretend we had superpowers. Being two years older than Porma, I always thought or hoped that I was more mature or more put together and skilled than Porma was. But I knew quickly that Porma always was more gifted in the arts, and she had a true passion for it. She was always making arts and crafts projects, like making jewelry, and she was always in dabbling in different types of instruments, such as the piano and drums, and even guitar. So I'm not surprised today that Porma is here and Nondri Mashi is here today showing us just how much they've mastered classical dance. So far, they've been beautiful on stage, and I'm looking forward to seeing them perform the rest of the program. Thank you. Dance started in India with Shiva as Nataraja, the Lord of Dance. So no 
I, performance is complete till we have at least one dance in praise of the great Nataraja. So this next dance is dedicated to Lord Shiva and it concludes with the Navarasa or the nine human emotions. These are very stylized and expressed as if Shiva is portraying or expressing these emotions. Nandani will demonstrate the story before the Shiva Navarasa is performed. Natraja, the Lord of Dance, performs his cosmic dance in the Golden Hall. His white locks are crowned with a crescent moon and the top knot from which flows the power of the Ganges. His third eye blazes with the fires of destruction. The serpent lies peacefully around his neck as earrings dangle by his smiling cheeks. In the three worlds, evil is eliminated by him. The dance concludes with the Navarasa, in which Shiva demonstrates the nine human emotions. Shringhara, that is love. Veera, that is valor. Karuna, that is compassion. Adbhut, that is amazement. Hasya, that is human. Bhayana, that is fear. Vibhats, that is disgust. Rodra, that is anger. And Sham, that is peace. The Shiva Navrasa is in Rag Paras, said to Adita. Paroma will join Nandini in performing this dance.
which have beautiful stories as an important part of them. The next dance is a pure dance, an abstract piece that is performed for beauty of rhythm and movement. It's also celebration and joyous. The piece that Paroma and Nandani have selected is the Tarana. The music to this is composed by the famous uh, late Pandit Ravi Shankarji. And the dance is choreographed by my Guruji, Sri Raja Reni. He has envisioned that these are statues of gods and goddesses in a temple that come alive as they hear the melody of the flute and the veena. This dance, Tarana, will be our next presentation.
kid in our family but he had a not so smart belief about marriage and in India it's often known as Dilli Kaladdu. All of you know that? Because those of you who don't know that it means the marriage is only good for people, I mean not good for unmarried people. Okay, so that's what it means. So when he came to see us in 1993 in Boston, uh, my wife and I had to work on him and so he agreed to get married on the condition that as long as he doesn't have to do anything with it, okay, <laughs> all right? So my family, uh, everybody worked very hard and we all sorted through all the uh, prospects and of course, Nandini, uh, she's, got, she's got many talents besides dancing. She is a very good uh, painter, uh, she's very good at handiwork and of course, she has many other talents as some of the things that you have learned and she is a well accomplished economist at that time and so uh, she's, uh, she stood out among the whole stack of resume we gathered at that point in time you know? <laughs> and since then I have observed her grow up from a lovable and adorable daughter to a dutiful wife and a responsible mother and with all this work to bringing up two child and she continued with her passion of dancing it's not an easy task and she did that in spite of the fact she became my parents favorite daughter-in-law and she also became my son and my daughter's favorite kakimoni and of course she is my favorite because i discovered her okay <laughs> all right so i am very proud of this give them a big hand okay yeah. all right We now come to our finale, the most popular piece in the Kuchipudi repertoire called Tarangam. It begins with a short story in praise of Lord Krishna and concludes with the dancers performing on the rim of a brass plate. Immediately after the Tarangam will be the Mangalam where the dancers will bow at the feet of Nataraja, thanking the Lord for giving them the strength to perform today. They will bow to the Guru for the training, they will thank the artist for accompanying, and they will thank you for gracing this very auspicious occasion. So we now present to you Tarangam, and Paroma will demonstrate the short story before Tarangam is performed. Krishna 
Krishna, the cowherd, whose blue body is like the thunder clouds. Always, he is the one who gives to all. He who walks gracefully, like an elephant, whose beautiful face is resplendent with a mark on the forehead. He is the lotus-eyed son of Nanda. He dances with the milkmaids. Truth, knowledge, joy are all characteristics seen in Vishnu, the eliminator of evil in this world. Tarangam is in Rag Mohanam and Nandani will join Paruma in performing this last dance. Thank you. 
English master. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me and my mom over the last 12 years. Um, polish up our dances over the last couple of weeks. Um, and then last but not least, I would like to thank um, the crew um, for the sound and the light. Uh, thank you so much. And for hanging up the backdrop, because that took a really long time. So <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and I think, I think that's really all. There's dinner outside, so please, please enjoy.